Now, the United Way of the Wabash Valley is doing its part to help recovering drug addicts. Yesterday, the organization announced that part of $50,000 in grant money is going toward bringing in peer recovery specialists. These specialists have gone through the recovery programs themselves. It's also giving these former addicts steady employment. News 10's Dominic Miranda spoke with one former addict today. He has more on how this move by the United Way could potentially help so many. The United Way made a huge move yesterday in helping those recovering from drug addiction. In the same token, they gave those who have been in recovery the chance to start a new life. The hardest part is to re-enter into society because nobody wants to give them a job. Billy Joe Henry is a business owner and senior pastor at the Bridge Church in Terre Haute. He also happens to be a former drug addict. When he finally got clean, he saw his own struggles trying to find work. For me as a recovering addict, once I made that decision to, to stop living that life, uh, it was hard to get out there and to get a job, a job that you were going to be able to, uh, to provide for your family. The United Way of the Wabash Valley aims to hire peer recovery specialists, which is twofold. Not only are they helping substance users recover, they are employing former addicts in the process. Executive Director Richard Payonk is excited to be helping this very issue. Another key point of that program is, is it's providing an employment opportunity for those who have struggled and are in recovery. Here we are, maybe providing up to 60 jobs in the next year for folks who really have a passion and heart to go help this community. Henry recognizes the value of the United Way's mission. He knows that they are changing and saving lives. Putting people who have, who have been in that life to help other people in their recovery that have made it through recovery and doing so great. So I'm, I'm excited to hear what they're doing. Now Henry says he has hired former drug, recovering drug addicts rather to his business and is extremely excited about what the United Way is doing. He says we should always give people a second chance. Reporting live from downtown Terre Haute, I'm Dominic Miranda, News 10.